around the world, communities are embracing clean and healthy solutions to fight the climate crisis. With a global agreement now in place, the time for action is now. The UK is an island which receives a lot of wind. It has relatively shallow seas. It's a perfect environment for uh, wind-based power. When we came to construct Sheringham Shoal, it was one of the first wind farms in the area. Once the wind farm became operational, people were able to see both the benefits in terms of the green energy it was producing, but also the impact it's had on the local economy grown up around this, this area all my life. I'm a marine coordinator for the Sheringham Shoal Wind Farm. We are largely responsible for overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of the wind farm. Yeah, good afternoon Ivan. Uh, just wanted to check the availability for the swale tomorrow. Is there any Make sure that the, the conditions are suitable for the vessels to, to go out and safely transfer and to monitor the conditions during the day. Hi, Jimmy. Yeah. Do you want to go through the plan tomorrow? Yeah, the first drop is Alpha 8, second drop will be Foxtrot 4. I um, always wanted to work in offshore wind and a big part of what we do here is to keep our wind farm um, on high availability. So we make sure we make as much power as we can. We make sure that each of us go out to the wind farm fairly often so that we're able to see the technician and how we can help them get everything they need. I'm responsible for the substations. Myself and two fitters will be dropped off for a day's work to maintain the, the auxiliary transformers. Sheringham Shoal offshore wind farm consists of 88 turbines and together they produce enough electricity to power 220,000 UK homes every year. It's been operational since 2012. You never really understand um, before you go to an offshore wind farm for the first time how big they are. It's incredibly different when you're in a boat at the bottom looking up and they're huge and really graceful. Yeah, just to give you an update uh, on the conditions today, the only thing we have got is a slightly elevated risk of blinding this afternoon to a risk three. We work very, very closely with the skippers and the, uh, the crews on board the vessels. You, you very much need to be on your toes when you work with the wind. Tidal Transit is a company that owns and operates wind farm crew transfer boats. We designed a purpose-built uh, crew transfer vessel for dealing with the harsh climate in the North Sea. Conditions can change in a moment, in a heartbeat. And I suppose it could be dangerous if things went wrong. The training that you receive and the protective equipment that you wear, yep. you're as safe as can be. The substation is, is quite a climb. It's not for the faint-hearted, I guess. It's, uh, it's just part of your day's work, getting your kit on and uh, getting up there. Don Quixote, radio check, OS1. I'm responsible for the assets and the, the switch gear and transformers. These assets have got 20, 30 years lifespan. They've got to be maintained and operated. So what he's done... I say every day is an adventure. It's uh, an enjoyable place to work. A central part of the UK's policy is to uh, kill coal. By 2025, uh, the expectation is that there will be zero coal energy generation. Replacing old coal-fired power stations with new renewable power stations is going to continue. Coal use last year was at the lowest level it's been since 1850, uh, since the Industrial Revolution. And that's a historic occasion. Something's got to be done to uh, protect our planet moving forward and, and this is one way of uh, contributing to that. When I first got into the business, uh, there were several people I knew up here who were a little bit sceptical about the whole industry. 
but I feel that people now have a sense of ownership of them. They feel that they're their wind farms, they're, they're, they're the county's wind farms. At the end of the day, we're trying to do a job here and make a difference in terms of uh, the energy production and cleaner living. And I think we're doing that. We're lucky in this area because we have uh, a wealth of marine talent that has had less opportunities uh, in, the, in the past decades due to the declining the fishing industry. We've created 40 jobs in the local economy. We've got so much potential for even more offshore wind projects. I think it's really important that we harness it because it's there for us to use and it's our biggest asset. It doesn't matter whether a greenhouse gas which causes global warming comes from Birmingham, Bangalore or Beijing, it does the same amount of damage. So we all have to get together to try and tackle this. Innovators are hard at work. We can make climate action a reality. Together, we're on the road forward.